Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Jules Mancillon. I saw that come. Um, I don't want to go in circle, but because uh, sometimes those messengers, I, I feel like we, we, we have enough to rely on our inner self, but yet we, we still uh, we still enjoy the communicating. And it's going to be important to communicate, yet we already have that which we seek. We just got to connect into the, the breast of the one, the breast of the I am. You relax into this breast and you become the breast, you become the I am. And so it is, uh, it, it is all part of the process that is going on to awaken to the inner divinity. And the card of the day is tic-tac. It's connecting to the eternal moment of now, to escape time, to leave time. For we, we have nothing to prove to God. God is already knows. He accepts us and loves us just as we are. But we have to prove to ourselves that we are worthy of living in heaven, to receive it all, to have it all, to, to live in the, in the total joy and happiness and freedom. So, so we've created all those experiences to get rid of all kinds of old beliefs so that we can accept ourselves as worthy. And so it was very courageous to come down from the higher planes, from heavenly realm to to participate in this adventure, uh, for it hasn't been a, it hasn't been a picnic, yes, so to speak. So, so it's like uh, continue to to know that the, the, there is this great opening and and be the opening for the, the message. There was a, a message of my, uh, my beloved friend, um, Joshua. We call him the Christ or Jesus or Sananda. I often call him Michael because it's like it's the order of Michael. Paradise created a son, and so is the. The primal creator, administrator of the father, the father son of our universe. But uh, he came to this earth and, and, and he said a lot of very important things and, and he anchored the ideas to say, I am an open door that no man can ever shut. So that, that statement, when you anchor that and you realize you are also the open door, not only you will always be open to the connection to the higher planes and, 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 he and heavenly realm, but you also are able to, to allow others to, to share within this experience. I am an open door that no man can ever shut. So be that door, be that open door and, and enjoy the connection for it is within the connection. For uh, all, uh, all we do within is, uh, is a contribution to all we do in this world, whether within or without, actually. It's, it's all a contribution to the evolution of the supreme being, the supreme mind. Whatever anybody else do, it's their contribution. And... Um, for the supreme being is not a creator, it's a god of time and space, but it's more a coordinator of the evolution experience and he will eventually gain full power power and, and personality uh, outside of paradise. His personality will be recognized eventually when all beings and all things from time and space will have realized supremacy. In the meantime, there are DFI beings that are holding that, that, that great uh, frequency of uh, fulfilling the role of being the supreme being, the, the god of time and space. I'm going to pull a few cards to see what uh, I'm going to use the, the Star of the Angels first. And uh, so, so it, is, it is very important to realize that whatever we imagine, it's real. For the subconscious, all is real. The subconscious, we need to integrate the subconscious. It is all our past and conditioning and everything. And then we have the superconscious that connects us to source, to God, to enlightenment. So we need to integrate all the subconscious so it becomes, we move into full consciousness and we'll only have the superconscious to guide us. But the subconscious is very, very powerful. <coughs> Most people are not aware and how it works and so we want to we want to look turn into the settled realm to to for the I'm gonna pull a few cards the past is the dreams for we we've been given time to 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 realize to imagine what is the best version of reality we want for ourselves where we are now is compassion to allow ourselves to accept that we're going to be living this reality and the future is enthusiasm to continue to, to to move into the realization what we're working on now is reparation we need to bring the, everything back into order before we can move into the next step so it's step by step one day at a time and the future is um, the, the the realization of that of being able to bring back things into harmony to repair all the aspects that we feel we need to balance out in our life we'll bring we'll bring righteousness we're gonna we'll stay righteous, stay, stay true to yourself and to others. For um, for, for the inner fire, it's like I'm gonna sing this song it's called it's about that, it's about the inner fire. The the, the fire is like can can we wanna ignite this fire so it keeps us warm? Is, is it warm enough? Is it just a candle or in a fire? Or is it warm enough to keep us warm? Or can, can it warm up the people around us? And when, uh, when we have so much love and light, it's like everybody's warmed up by this light and fire. So continue to cultivate this light and this inner light. And 
for all exists within the infinite mind, the infinite spirit, the conjunct actor, past, present, and future. Uh, everything that's ever been thought uh, is, is known, even in the cosmos, there's this great the cosmic mind, which is different than the infinite spirit. The cosmic mind is the, is, is the great one. The, as far as we know, it is God, because it is, it is the sum of all that's been known and experienced is the, in, in the universe, and it is moving towards higher realization as more realized. So we want to draw our connection from there, draw our connection from that, uh, <coughs> from that cosmic being, cosmic mind, the Great One, and uh, the Father, Mother, God, that are the, super, uh, the, the creator of our experience uh, in this local universe of time and space. For humanity has been living as parasites on the Earth. For the Earth is a living being, and she would rather have our human population to shine like diamonds, to, to be a beautiful ornament, that's what's coming in the future. Right now, a lot of human beings have been acting like parasites to the Earth. But we want to put an end to it and just uh, declare that it is the end, and then allow the time to fulfill its, um, its process. The Akash is opening up also. The Akash is for learning purposes to balance out energies of, uh, of the, through the unconscious. It is a great library. It is within our DNA. But it's just a show. It, well, it is a show. It's a more than a show, but it's, we grow and learn through experience. But, uh, but in a, it's like uh, uh, on the higher level, we are and have been and will be all that is. All past lives of all being is, our, is within the... We move from personal Akash to collective Akash to universal Akash. And so... There is a great deal to, to accept and allow in relationship to that, yet, yet we chose certain timelines and, and experiences that are much more personal to us. We can, we can still consult our personal Akash, but we can move into collective Akash and, and universal Akash. But we, as, as letting go of one form and perception, we can become all things as, and learn from all things. And so... Uh, um, for, for there is a, it is also a, the balancing out of the, the learning, the perfect lesson from each and experience from the past is the magic power that the Buddha discovered. It's the, called the destruction of all thoughts. Once you draw on the information, then you achieve lucidity and serenity in, in all circumstances. You achieve the, the state of samadhi, the, the nirvana, which is the open door to the higher spiritual realm. And so, so we, we want to find that, we want to balance that, we want to ask for, for balance, we want to call on the, the angels and the guides and the spirit, and our creator, of course, for, um, for all enlightened beings will tell you basically the same thing. It's like you, you turn, turn into the God within, huh? it's like in a sense that's basically the, for all things come from God, that we, we allow more of God to come, um, we're going we're gonna to discover some, some wonderful things. Um, for the highest wisdom is high tension. We want to let go of stress and tension. Uh, it's very important. Be this breath of God. Take a few breaths. Relax. Let go of the mind. Huh? What we need to understand is Soma. is the, the phallic mushroom. It is the, the valley of the shadows. It's facing our fear and refining our plans. It's the moon. It's the, the illusion that is being released. For this month of September, will be very shifting. What we need to do is taking up the arms. It's like uh, uh, doing more than what we've been asked for. The, for the, the show, where the process will go through and in its own pace. The turtle will, will continue to uh, um, uh, uh, walk. But, uh, but here, it's like uh, to, to get a little... Uh, to get ready for, for action, and it's like he's getting agitated, yet he's on the turtle. And the outcome is totally banana. It's accept, accept the fact that everything is absurd right now. Everything is completely a banana. There's no, there is no logic to what is going on. And you just go with the flow, feel the joy, let go of, of the seriousness of the situation. That's basically what the, the cards wanted to say. I, I, was, I was looking at a, a few quotations from philosophers, for it is always good to enrich yourself. It is not necessary, it is not an essential, but to continue to cultivate yourself and within the letters of uh, the, the books of the, of the, um, of the, the Greek or Roman authors, there is so much depth and, and much was, uh, or even after, in the Middle Age, in the Renaissance and the light, the, the, the 18th century, the, the, the age of, of the lights. But, um, I was looking at a, a video from Saint Augustin, and he said that uh, uh, f intelligence is always preceded by faith. For we cannot discover true intelligence if you do not have faith that God can reveal it to you. And when God reveals to something to you, it makes you more intelligent, makes you more bright, it makes you more understanding. For what comes from source is really the highest, uh, the the highest um, form of. Um, 
of intelligence for for love love is love is the beauty of the soul eh? love and beauty are like pairing together when you see love you'll see beauty and uh, asking the, the what is the measure we should measure the, the love we have for god is the no measure eh? we should love god without measure and it says this is you have to be ashamed if you're not ashamed if you don't have any shame because you, that means you don't realize your your, your lower aspect that you want to forgive yourself it was it was also saying that uh, w w when we look at rich people for instance very rich people we see all they have but we don't see what they lack and, and maybe they're miserable because they're lacking something so we, everybody's working on their process just to let go of the form of the of the perception to to accept your own happiness for happiness is to to, to from saint augustin is to uh, is to, uh, to to love those things you already have if you if you're in love with all that you have your creator your source your connection your your, your beingness your everything that is there you, you're going to find true happiness just by enjoying those things you have and uh, and there was a, a stoic thought that was talking saying that uh, freedom is uh, is not to ask anything not to wait for anything and not depending on anyone or anything for that is true freedom Stoic thoughts are good. I, I was looking at Senec, Seneca also, uh, for he's an atheist. He believed that death, uh, there was nothing after death, and death was nothing. Yeah? So it's like, but uh, but he was he was very deep in some sense that uh, he, was, he was saying a few things that our, our own mistakes are behind our back. The mistakes of others are in front of our eyes. So it's like always uh, be be kind to others, <laughs> and he says that. Um, you know, when, when we cultivate ourselves, that, uh, that uh, enrich us, that, that makes us noble, is to become a higher self. That's the only way we can prove to God that we are worthy of this, of this sonship. Once again, I go, God accepts us and loves us just as we are. We do not need to change. But our, for our own self, we have to, to prove to ourselves that we are worthy of, of being a, a ruler of the kingdom of God. And, but, but it's already there. As we move, we accept and we, we forget the forgiveness from the I am. For the uh, Seneca also thought that uh, good deeds were, were their own rewards and, uh, and time was our only possession. Everybody possessed time and that's the only thing we possess on this planet. Everything else is just uh, is the time. What do we do with our time? It's better to live a quality of life than to have a long, miserable life. He thought he was trying to, to help humanity with his thoughts. So, uh, also understanding um, that, that as far as this time and place, is like disclosure is happening. Everything is happening. The darkness is been revealed more and more every day we just uh, this month of september will probably put an end to um because a lot of people are questioning their personal freedom and what is being done to them. And so focus on health, wealth and happiness. And that is the, the awakening when we start focusing on that. I was connecting with the, the Archangel Jophiel, the beautiful uh, Archangel Jophiel of the Yellow Ray. And, and she was advising that we, 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 we move into the being, with the being with a great B, not, not a small B, uh, not the ego being, but the, the beingness of, of, of life. For 3D humans, will, uh, will, um, are, is an endangered species. And it's like they're gonna they're gonna disappear. It's like we want to love them and let them go. We, we want to welcome the the new humans. Also, Mary Madeline was was talking about a, an interesting idea. It's like a, is the woman population is awakening faster than the male population. So in couples, sometimes it's really difficult to continue to give love and light. But if there is really chaos, conflict, and and too much, and it's really then it's better to. To, to get some space in relationship to, to the chaos for people will only awaken when they are ready. But if we change our beliefs and we, that changes our feeling and then, then we, can, uh, we can change the form, we can, we can move into the essence of joy uh, and continue to send love and light in the areas of darkness in the, in the world. Whether it's just be aware and continue to send love and light but to focus on the joy, the happiness and the freedom. To be aware of the darkness is essential to, to realizing, to be aware of it and to be able to still stay positive and loving and, and, and peace, regardless of all the suffering that may be going on. To, is, is the challenge is to maintain that frequency and to continue to, to, to send the, this, this, the, this bright energy. There is a tsunami of light that is coming down this month on this planet. So, and bring lo more love in your in your daily life and the love to, to be more conscious of of expressing ourselves and to be loving in, in everything we do. 
and that will help more than anything else. So I hope this message was interesting for you. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I thought I mentioned it always to, to, to express my gratitude also for all the work that you do. We, we here, uh, we, we all here, we, we all here to, to, we're moving towards self-empowerment and we're this, uh, and then things are, are, are right about to change a lot of very, on a deep level, much has been prepared and we worked for it. For we have to, we have to do the inner work. We, we can only get when we were ready for. I'm going to sing this song to finish, a song of Johnny Cash. It's called The Ring of Fire. Love is a burning thing and it makes a firing ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flame went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. The test of love is sweet. When hearts like ours meet, I fell for you like a child, Oh, but the fire went wild. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire. The ring of fire, the ring of fire, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. For the, the, the divine sacred fire do not burn. They only burn the impurities to turn it into white light. That's what we need to do. The violet fire, let it burn, let it burn, let it consume all the negativity, all the limitations. And um, for, for this is a special content. He went into this ring of fire, but he, he burned his wing because of a, of a relationship. Sentimental love can do that sometimes. But divine love will never burn your wing. wings. Although the soul is, is really testing us, huh? for the card of the day is the Lady of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can, uh, you can from now on undertake anything, go towards what we aspire. You are attracting the people capable to help you on your way. So, so no, the, peop the right people will be on, on, on will be there and they will be there and then you you can uh, you can go towards that which you aspire and, and anything is possible huh? so, so stay, stay stay well connected and relax whenever you feel like there's a mental agitation or whatever return to the breeze of the i am the breeze of the one the breath and, and the calm and the peaceful the inner temple and and take a few breaths and then return to whatever you're doing with this lucidity also thank you very much wish you a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later agape